Okay, today we are going to learn how to change tick boxes to radio buttons. What that means is like, for instance, we're supposed to check one of these. So we click on that. Yep, we got a check box. Oh, we can check on all of these. That's not what we want. We want just to check one. So we're gonna change these from check boxes to something called radio buttons. Radio buttons, you can only check one. So we're going to prepare the form. Um, it's already on my tools over here to the side, but I'll go to tools. And then you look for prepare form and click on it. And it changes it so that you can actually see all the boxes for this PDF form, fillable form that are already there. So right here, these are check boxes. And if you look over here to the side, this is where they are listed. This is how you check to make sure that they're in tab order is right here as well. So we're going to go up here. This is a checkbox. It's probably what someone used when they built this form. This is a radio button. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go down here. We're actually just going to put them on top of these for right now. So radio button, and we're going to add another button, add another button, add another button. We want to add all these different buttons at the same time because that keeps them in this group. Okay, so now we're going to change the name of these things. I'm going to go over here to general. And so this is called group two. Right here it says group two. Really these are like the job descriptions of whoever's filling out this form. So we're gonna call it job description. I think it's supposed to be an E. Okay, I'm going to copy that. The tool tip, this one is the FAA inspector. You can see it says it right here. Now we're going to click on this one so we can make it job description. This one's going to be a DAR. Job description, this one is DMIR. Job description, ODA. Okay, so now they're all under job description. <clears throat> and you can see that even though we put the tool tip as like ODA or DMIR, it did not come over here and change this. So we're gonna click on it twice, slowly, then we can write ODA. This one is DMIR, DAR, FAA inspector. And as you can see, these are not in the correct order. So we're just gonna grab it and slide it up in the little grouping. ODA, DMIR, DAR. Now, out there, if I push the down arrow key on my keyboard, I can just move down those and I can see that they're in the right order. Now, if we preview this. These are all big circles instead of check boxes. But you see, I can click on one and it unclicks the other one. So now we just have one radio button and then one item that we can check. Now we're gonna go back and edit these. 
so in these radio buttons here, it got rearranged again. Sometimes these have a mind of their own. And we're going to go to properties. Under options, we're going to change it from circle to a checkbox. So now they're all check boxes instead of circles. I'm going to close this grouping. And you can see this is at the very bottom of the listings over here. So if you were tabbing through here, this would come after date four. That's not where we want it. We want it after date three before the other check marks that were there. So we're going to click on it and we're going to drag it. And we're going to drop it right there. So now we have day three. And then ODA, DMLR. We also have these check boxes still. So now we want to get rid of those. So just push delete on your keyboard and it will take them away. Now we're going to preview it again. And you can see we've got check boxes here. And they're not just straight check boxes. If you look a little closer, you can see they're like indented. So we need to go back and fix that. So go back to edit. You can also see how much bigger they are than the little check boxes that were on the form before. And we're going to fix that as well. Go back to edit. And we're going to properties. So our appearance, it says it's inset. We don't want it inset. We just want it solid. Now we can see that the, check, the boxes are all too big. So we can look at the position and we can see the width and the height are right here. We need to make them just a little bit smaller. So this height is 21 inches. So we're going to make these all 0.2. So you can see I made the box smaller and we're going to have to move it over, but we'll do that in a minute. We're going to make all of these 0.2. And I'm just copying and pasting 0.2. Now, I'm going to check this box that says do not change the height and the width when changing their position because I want them to stay 0.2. But you can see right now they've got all these other boxes on here that we're going to cover up or we can get rid of. Right now we're just going to cover them up. Um, let's see. Too tall. So we're going to put all the bottoms at 1.6. And to move this box over to the right, I'm just going to use my right arrow so it actually covers up that box. Go here, change this to 1.6.
and then use my right arrow and move it over. Okay, we're going to preview that. And it looks good. So that is how you change a checkbox to a radio button.